Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Rainday Gaming. My name is Rainday and today we're playing some Overwatch. We've got Genji, the offensive character, the ninja robot essentially. Going to be taking him onto the battlefield in just a moment. He's got some incredibly cool abilities and I'm excited to walk you through them and talk to you a little bit about how I have learned to play this guy. He's not easy. He's not easy at all. I want to tell you that right away and get that off my chest so you guys don't think I'm masquerading as some uh, some guy who's just going to tell you Genji's easy mode after you watch this video. He's really difficult. I find him very difficult to play and he's actually um, one, of the, one of the champions and heroes in here that I actually enjoyed most because of his difficulty and the fact that I was seeing other people play him so effectively and uh, now I obviously wanted to put my tips, my tricks, uh, my notes into a hero guide here for you guys so you can at least get yourselves up to date on him so Genji he's a ninja he throws these shurikens right he's got three shurikens in his number one they follow in a line and they throw uh, in a delay after each other so pretty much if you're not staying straight your your reticle your targeting hair your crosshairs are not straight onto a target as they do pick up the kill there onto a stub getting that elimination with a nice fire on all three but if you do not hit all three and you do not stay like basically centered on your target you will miss them your first shuriken will probably hit but you will miss them there now you see I tried to deflect but I get taken out by uh, damage from actually it looks like me May coming in from the side, freezing me up. May is just really, really tough with Genji because she can essentially just nullify all of your movement. And Genji's all about movement. He's all about being super ninja-like, as you can imagine. If you take away a ninja's legs or his ability to climb and do cool flips and stuff, you're not going to have much of a ninja. You're going to have a guy in a kind of a funny looking costume, especially if it's a robot costume. So uh, Genji, as you see, I'm using my number one as my main dash ability, but my shift key is actually gonna allow me to basically dash forward any direction I'm facing. So as you can see, I used it to go up there. And one of the things you can do, it can help you get away from base faster, but now I've got this vantage point, which is really great. Junkrat earlier was up on here and he's a great character to get this vantage point. He can actually blast himself up uh, with his ability, I believe his shift ability and uh, right click, can get himself all the way up here. And now my ultimate is ready. I pop into it and I'm trying Trying to go in with my Dragon Blade, trying to get a couple of kills. We do cause some mayhem here, and I deflect a couple of basic attacks. I am taking him down. May coming at me again, trying to freeze me. Oh my god, I dash away, and I'm looking to get a couple of shots. I hit him with my Shuriken, and that takes him down. May is trying to come and get some kills, but May, you're frozen yourself, baby. How does it feel? And we get the triple kill, it looks like. There are eliminations there, and now Junkrat goes down. That's four kills in a row. We're getting this capture point, and I jump back up onto my ledge of safety. Now, in this map, specifically Li Zhang Tower, which is a really cool map. And again, I'll do a first impressions video, I think. Uh, one of the things I love, or maybe a top five, things I really like is the the identity that Overwatch puts into these games. Is you see the Shurikens hitting from long range, doing a lot of damage. Now, he's also got... Uh, oh my god, nice. Five-player kill streak here. Taking down May as well. Always feels good to take her down, but Junkrat comes in. I shift. I try and get a basic attack, and I deflect some of those bombs, but they do not explode. He's able to jump away before his bombs explode onto him, and I get hit with the, uh, the, the bomb in the face, and that's unfortunate there. He's missed a lot. I did deflect him over, but I get caught in that trap. I think that was the biggest key. He can trap me as well. Junkrat, really good character, and I'll show you guys him uh, in the next few days as well. I've got a video on him that should be really fun to check out. So, um, his left trigger is obviously the Shurikens in a three line, but if you throw your right trigger, it's Shurikens in this kind of, uh, widespread line. As I see the, the, the damage when you just hit it and I go back up here, I, I've got my shield on from Lucio, which is going to give me some, some extra protections in these fights. Um, but when you're in the right trigger, uh, the way to use it is if you've got a lot of people kind of in front of you, uh, it's very hard to you from aiming down and you might see in a moment, I try and use it down here. It's very hard when aiming down, right? It's not very accurate. It hits in, in kind of like a fan, uh, and you should see that right there see in that fan it's very hard to hit when you're aiming down um, but when you're straight forward in front of somebody and there's a large group of people maybe on a point you could pretty much guarantee those shurikens hitting people if they're clumped up together so that's a pretty good reason pretty good way to use it I've heard a couple of other guide videos talk about how they like to use it and that's one of the most recommended ways so I do enjoy that as well uh, now swift strike is a very important uh, a very important part of Genji's kit is they do get taken out by Junkrat popping himself up I don't even watch the want to watch the replay to be honest because he, he did kind of own me there. It was a nice, popped himself up off his own, uh, his blast, and then just killed me. That was that was pretty awesome. So, uh, Swift Strike is a shift. As you see, I just used it there. Now, what it does is Genji darts forward, slashing with his katana and passing through foes in his path. If he eliminates a target, he can instantly use this ability again. So, this is one of the things I think a lot of Genji players don't realize, and even I don't realize. Pretty much what happens is you can dash, uh, eliminate a target, and then dash again. So, it does add your mobility. Now, I do get one kill on there, but it's not enough to, to help my team get back this point. We've got nine 
99% and I was kind of rushing in trying to use a uh, dragon blade which is his ultimate which is a, just a very powerful sword attack um, it makes you melee instead of that long range shurikens and it makes you uh, very dangerous and people will kind of focus on you he does this little like oh shit on your gun again and you can kind of hear it so everyone turns around and they're like oh man something's happening and uh, they'll start to probably probably focus fire you and so one of the things you want to do with that is you want to use your E now E is a deflect and this is one of the things I found as a as a burgeoning Genji player I stop I did not use very often uh, because oh nice knock up there and I shift actually using my swift strike all the way over to the left hand side deflecting some of the damage from DVA and now she's basically in trouble I've got some shurikens available I had to reload so I take cover behind the corner now I'm throwing my shurikens in a line forward to there there are three members onto the point but we're trying to recontest and get this back we've only got 99% I see Junkrat up top and he's starting to aim his bombs over towards me so I go ahead and hit him down he's forced to jump down and try and stay on the point since his teammates are down from there but I cannot hit him with the shuriken so i use a v on my keyboard is just a melee basic attack to go ahead and finish him off very good for finishing off close range opponents and now it's in overtime we've still got 99 i'm using my deflect to go ahead and take down dva's machine gun attacks and now we're going to pop her out of that machine she's forced off the point it's overtime but it doesn't look good now i know junk rat's got his ultimate it's coming towards me so i'm now i'm looking to try and find a way to get out of here i have my shift available i see dead eye on the uh on the Soldier 76, and I actually use a shift to go and get away, and as you can see, it's off cooldown, so I'm able to shift up all the way uh, to my little safety place, and I go down with Dragon Blade active, and no one is there. It looks like we've taken all of them down, and we get the point secure. And so that was a great example of how to use Genji's ability to deflect attacks, his E ability. With lightning quick quick swipes of his sword, Genji reflects an oncoming projectile and sends it rebounding towards his opponents, and that's pretty much any re uh, projectile. You can do that to reflect Junkrat's bombs, you can do that to reflect like a machine gun that's why bastion one of the most overpowered characters uh, assumed by a lot of people genji is such a hard counter to bastion because when he uses his ultimate well, not his ultimate his turret form which can take somebody out with perfect accuracy from like any distance like like in like half a second when genji puts his deflect on it and he's facing bastion with his with his crosshairs he literally will kill bastion as fast as bastion would have killed him it will deflect all of that damage back to bastion i i have taken out bastions like insane with genji and so he is an extremely hard counter but you have to know how to use it and deflect is what counters him not Banji's mobility Bastion can still kind of target you very easily but uh, it is his deflect so that's one of the things you want to be able to use and you don't necessarily want to use it at every moment in the fight you don't necessarily want to start your fight there you want to let a few people because you're Genji you're going to be up in front of people and they're going to like have a second as you see I use a uh, basic attack there to go ahead and get the kill and I also have a shift a swift strike to be able to get out of range and I'm just using this to hide myself not be in target and use my shurikens from long range to do a ton of damage keeping simply onto the uh, DVA from a long range so that I'm not able to get taken out and I do get taken out there however I do get the elimination uh, onto Immoral but Farah seems to be coming flanking us from the back that I did not see and so that was unfortunate there but uh, you know, as you can see, very, very important. Now, the other thing about Genji that I will mention that's very good is that his uh, his passive is called Cyber Agility. Thanks to his cybernetic abilities, Genji can climb walls and perform jumps in midair. So, one of the things I don't see a lot of Genji players use is his uh, mobility to get to places that other people can't. Now, you see me shift jumping, but one of the things I could do if maybe I was in a different map, if we were kind of pushing a payload or something, is I could really get behind the enemy lines uh, by jumping over obstacles or climbing up onto places better than other people and putting myself at an advantage just from a positioning standpoint a lot of playing with Genji is positioning I hop into my dragon blade here trying to get a kill I shift all the way over to DVA and I take her down taking immoral all the way and it looks I want to shift up here but it looks like there's not an actual ledge it looks like there is but there's not an actual ledge to stand on so that was a problem I've got my swift strikes here I've got actually my shurikens and I'm trying to go ahead I deflect any damage coming out from May and I miss my first shuriken and now I'm just standing here frozen she gets taken out somehow but I die as well I want to see this replay because what the heck just happened okay she freezes me, and then she has to reload. Oh, wow, that's a hard shot. That's a hard... I, she didn't headshot me, so I think she shoulder shot me, which is why I didn't die immediately. But that would have been an immediate death. Very hard to play when you have someone frozen and you can just take your time to headshot them. But uh, same thing I feel. Some, some of these characters, you know, if you let them do their thing, they will hurt you. And again, a very hard counter to Genji because obviously no mobility when you're frozen. So that's kind of his key. You can't deflect attacks either. So May, a very good pickup for this team. Now, if you don't know Overwatch, you can actually pick two of the same characters. So if you have like two Mays, that could actually really shut me down if they found I was a big problem uh, in this game. But they decided to go ahead and switch with Reinhardt. We hadn't seen him before. I think they were mixing around with a couple of other 
uh, tanks and type of characters. Uh, so they actually end up going on Reinhardt. I'm taking some focus fire. I don't know where. Farah must have hit me with a basic attack. I decided to deflect, and the healing does come out for me. And that's really, really strong. Which is uh, very good to always have a healer or support on your team, especially on these uh, these like captures, uh, because you're gonna need the extra sustain when people are onslaughting you to give yourself some time to basically deflect it or get back and do it. As you see here, I'm climbing up on walls. That's the first climb I ever showed you guys with Genji here, but hopefully you guys can enjoy this. He does quite a bit of damage and uh, is very mobile. I gotta say that Genji's what Overwatch says is Genji is a versatile flanker with the highest level of mobility in the game, capable of reaching nearly any point on any map no matter how high or how far away. He can attack both at range and up close with his deadly shurikens, execute fast burst damage combos with swift strike, and even reflect the attacks of his enemies back at them. Much like Soldier 76, his versatility comes with its downsides. He is neither as agile as Tracer in combat, nor does he deal damage as quickly as Reaper. So you'll see that a lot of his damage can be burst with his swift strike with his Dragon Blade, as you saw the Dragon Blade attack into a swift strike and basically one two shot somebody very quickly especially if they're uh, a low character uh, not a high tanky character um, but again his versatility is his key make sure uh, that you are able to use it and not get caught down with other characters like May who might want to shut you down freeze you and stop all of that good stuff thanks so much for watching guys and remember to leave a like share comment and subscribe to the channel for more content like this here at Rainy Gaming as always remember to never give up never stop gaming and I'll see you guys next time